Okay, so today we're going to be uh, hooking up uh, an outlet for 208. It's a three-phase uh, device that's going to be plugged into it, and I'll show you how to uh, wire that. But before you do electrical wiring, always consult with a certified electrician or consult with codes before you do it. And uh, this is the uh, three-phase outlet. Okay, so uh, let's get started. We have uh, our three live wires, a blue, a black, and a red. And we will cut them off so they're all even. See this uh, ground screw here? This is a plastic box and we don't need to use it, but I'll show you how it works anyway so that if you hook up a device that requires it, you'll know how to do it. So what I do with the stranded wire is I take my wire strippers, I score here, and I'll score it here. I'll take my knife, come down and I'll shave the insulation off here down to where I scored it below. Right there and I'll just Cut right down like that. And I'll just break it off where the scoring is. There it is. There it is. We got what we scored off off. So we will just loosen this ground screw up. We will uh, take our wire, okay, we'll have to take the screw out. We'll take and we'll turn this wire a little bit so we get a nice tight twist in here so that the the strands stay all together. See how I'm getting them twisted here a little bit? Got a nice tight twist there. I'll make a nice U like that. See how I got a nice shape there of a U. I'll put the screw in like that and I'll Get it under the head like that. Now I'll take and I'll pull up so that the strands stay under the screw head. And I'll take my pliers here and I'll get the loop all nice and closed up in here. And I'll just tighten it, make sure it's good and tight. So now we're ready to hook our device up. So we'll clip the wires. Now with this here, see how the you just loosen the terminals up and you slide the wire in 
in, in that little piece there and it, this clamps down on it so you don't have to wrap the wire around the screws. It's marked G there for the ground. And the three phases is Y, X, and Z. Okay, so now we'll strip our wires here. I'll get the uh, black one straightened out here. Okay, so we'll strip about this much off, about maybe but just about a half of an inch carefully so we don't break our strands. Okay, so we'll twist our strands together here. See the green terminal here? We'll put our green wire under the terminal there. And see how I get the copper right up to the bottom of that plate there? There's the green. Now the three phases, Y, X, and Z, doesn't make a difference because each leg is all the same voltage. So we'll, I'll retwist these, make sure we get a nice even twist here. And we'll hook our three phases up. And you want to make sure that the insulation does not get caught under this plate here. There's the red. And we'll put the blue under. You want to make sure that all the strands get underneath. the blue and the last one we'll do is the black and uh, that is how you wire a, a three-phase 208 uh, receptacle and now I'll show you a way of checking it we'll go over and turn the panel on and uh, I'll give you the what to look for Okay, we're back from the panel and we turned our power on and we're going to do a little check here to make sure it's working right. We're going to take one lead and go to the ground and I will touch one phase, 120 volts, touch the other phase, 120 volts, and I'll touch the other phase, 120 volts. And I have this meter set on 200 volts because that's the lowest uh, above 120 volts and we're just checking one phase at a time to the ground. Peace. Thanks for watching.